Over the past three years, Guerrilla Tag has changed and evolved in a lot of ways. From new game modes, new maps, and a whole lot of wacky cosmetics. Most recently, it's a new tiger skin. From a simple game of tagging monkeys to the biggest VR game around. Those first months of Gorilla Tag were an experience you just don't find too much anymore. Just laughing, running around, and learning how to be monkey. But now it's time for a nostalgia hit. It's time to go back in time to the start, the beginning, what the first Gorilla Tag players experienced, the first updates of Gorilla Tag VR. Subscribe if you enjoy, and let's get into it with the first release of Gorilla Tag. So here we are in the first version of Gorilla Tag. This is the version that released when Gorilla Tag first released in February 2021. So let's get out a tutorial and see what it looks like. Oh, the old textures that are like kind of blurry. Let me hop into the forest map. Look at this. It looks quite similar to what you're used to. There are a couple glaring issues that you'll notice, especially with the stump with the, the branches instead of the ramp. I wish that we had this in Gorilla Tag again. This was... The first memory of Gorilla Tag was was these these little stumps struggling to get up this just so I could leave a lobby. The forest walls are super jagged, nothing got smoothed out. So when Gorilla Tag first came out, all we had was forest. There was no beach map, so secret tunnels pretty much not even there. And if you go inside stump, you'll see it definitely looks a lot different. We have pretty much nothing. We just have a very mini computer with a keyboard that's slightly different with some options right here. But no city, no caves, no canyons. It was pretty much just, it's a stump with, with a table. We have a table, it's a little bit of furniture. And these old versions of Gorilla Tag are the ones where you could get out of the map pretty easily. So let's see if I can at all. I haven't done this in a very long time. All right, I suck, I'm going for the easier one. The crease, almost there, almost there. No! We didn't know it yet, but we had an experience that 99% of people would never get. My only request for any new Gorilla Tag update is to get those stump stubs back. I, ju I just want them back. But now that we've seen the original version of Gorilla Tag, it's time to see the first changes that the game ever got. And it started very strong. So we are here in the first update to Gorilla Tag. There are a couple differences that you can already see, like the Gorilla Code of Conduct is here, and I think it is still unchanged. And there is also the new Caves map. Before we hop in here though, there are a couple things to see out in Forest. Like, we have the ramp. The ramp is now here. Only two weeks of Gorilla Tag had the stump branch, and then we have the ramp. And it's been like that ever since. As well as that, the forest walls have been smoothed out so that divot is no longer there. And Secret Tunnel is very easily visible from the outside. Look at this. You can see old Secret Tunnel elephant ear door. Now let me try and get out of the map and see Secret Tunnel. It's been a while. Let's see, to the corner. Come on, come on. Yes, oh, I made it. Okay, Secret Tunnel. Let me see you. Yes, Secret Tunnel. You led to the beach map eventually. I'm just telling you now, I'm from the future. Now let's check out the caves map for the first release of it in the game. Here it is, old caves. Oh, I missed you. You're so beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna hear the ding. No, this is before the ding. No, but we also have mines. Mines is here too. Oh, you're beautiful. Beautiful mines. And the only main change that caves really got until the revamp was that little crevice that kind of appeared right here where you'd be able to go into mines from just kind of over here. That does not exist in the first version of caves. The secret tunnel theory stayed on our minds for years until the introduction of the beach map, and we were seeing the gorilla world start to take shape right before our eyes. And it would continue to expand, especially in customization options very soon. And then we are here in the Early Access Cosmetics update where we have the first introduction of Hat Room. So we come up here and we can see the good old classic hats. Look at them all. The good old top hat, the Early Access badge, and the mirror, the original mirror. Look at me. Hello, monkeys. My mouth doesn't move because this is from like three years ago. Interesting thing, the cosmetics were only available on Steam for a while, and nowadays Steam can't buy the bundles. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. A little ironic. But as well as Hat Room, there are a couple other updates that have happened. Like the computer has gotten changed. We got the up and down arrows for the different tabs on the computer itself. And the computer itself is a bit wider. This was the introduction of the competitive queue. So you would just go to there and then you would turn on competitive queue. There was no city obstacle course to deal with. And let's see how Secret Tunnel's doing. It's still there. It looks about the same in this version. And if we hop down into caves, you can see what I was talking about in the previous update where Lemming added the little 
bit that was on the side in caves. Right here. And then this led down to mines in a more natural way. This may have been the most important update that Gorilla Tag ever got. Even though people don't like spending money for cosmetics, without that original early access pack on Steam, Lemming probably would not have been able to keep the servers up for Gorilla Tag nearly as long as he did. And with the amount of players Gorilla Tag was getting, money was tight. At least nowadays with the cosmetic prices and regular cadence of updates that we get, we have no need to worry about server costs until Gorilla Tag eventually does actually die. But now it is time for one of the most controversial updates in Gorilla Tag history. They added slippery walls. The fourth update in Gorilla Tag added slippery walls. And along with some bug fixes and straightening out the walls a bit more, all that was really added was the casual queue, which I can't really see here. Slippery walls were very divisive in the community, with some people liking to get out of the map and other people not liking when other people stalled the game by being outside of the map. It was a very rampant issue back in the day and even still is anytime there's an out of map exploit. It may have been a small update, but Lemming was hard at work on another very special update. Finally, canyons, the best map in Gorilla Tag. Oh, old canyons, oh, it's so great. Oh, it's so clean in here, look at this. Oh, I can be, I can be so good here. This is, this is my map. This, this was my, my element right here. This is where I learned to play Gorilla Tag. This was, this is where I got good. And if you didn't get good here, then you didn't get good anywhere because this was the spot. This is where the chases were. This is where you played full monkey game, go monkey mode. But at least when the map came out of beta, it had these here. People were struggling to get on top of this hut. I really miss this view so much. It's so nostalgic being here. Oh, it was really nice being back, even if there's no servers to actually play on. That one is still my favorite update. If you couldn't tell when I was talking about canyons, it's my favorite map. I honestly wish we still had old canyons. Without canyons, I may not have fallen in love with Gorilla Tag as much as I did, and I may not have made a career out of making videos for you to watch on Gorilla Tag. Forest is the last bastion of mainly unchanged original Gorilla Tag. Aside from the addition of super slippery walls, the gameplay and layout of Forest has remained unchanged. Only really the seasonal things happen like what we have now for spring, and a few smaller things around like the campfire, the light post, the lamps, and Doug. Over the course of two months, Lemming as a solo dev added two full new maps to Gorilla Tag, which would be insane content scheduling today. Then over the course of the next three years, both of those maps got revamps and one, two, three, four, five completely new and full maps were added to Gorilla Tag, along with the two rotating maps so far with Swamp and the Pyramid map, as well as four new mechanics, them being the rope swinging, sliding, swimming, and size changing. So you better believe Gorilla Tag has changed and evolved in quite a lot of ways. And those were the first five updates to Gorilla Tag, each one very important for the future of the game and elements from each of them can still be found in Gorilla Tag today. Subscribe if you wish you had a time machine too.